So hello everybody, welcome to another episode. Today I'm reviewing what's inside this box. This looks like a crate, this looks very cool. I just like how this crate looks like. It's nice. So yeah, let's just remove this out of here and let's see what I'm reviewing. Oh yes, it's Bulldog. So here we have the World War One tank, Bulldog. So let's get into the review. So here we have him here after we took a part, took him away from that box that looked like a wooden crate. That was nice. Also, the box is amazing. It's like, okay, yes, the box art is nice, but there isn't much to it. So let me just remove it out of the, remove him out of the plastic. So he is a, Tank from the First World War. It says here it's the Mark One. He's the E E seventy five Bulldog. Sick. So yeah, let's just remove him. Yep. Also the base with the magnets already on. How did it take them this long to make it? Well, it is what it is. Also, the instructions, as always, are unclear. So, here we have Bulldog right here in his vehicle mode. That is a tank from the First World War. That's awesome. And we have his, and I have a cap. Well, like, not a cap, but a very a hard helmet. Uh, there's stuff also in here. Come here. Also, a. I guess not even focusing. Also, a mask probably for. I don't know, I forgot. Why do I need those again? I, for, I keep on forgetting. Okay, I mean, yeah. Whatever. Okay, now we have his other head, which has the hazmat thing. You know, if there's. A, I can't remember why they used it. So yeah, that's basically it for the unboxing. Let me just put that to the side. So here we have Bulldog right here. I'm going to have to, no, I'm not gonna lower the camera. That's a bit too much work. So here we have him with his paint job. He looks amazing, seriously. The paint job right here, where it's all dirty. Also the barrel of the gun where it's rusted. Yeah, very good. I like it. It's actually very nice. And overall, his vehicle mode is very nice. So we already talked about his, well, headpieces. They don't really count about as accessories. Now, transformation. So my transformation may seem a bit choppy and weird, because it is. Because I winged it the first time. So we raised this thing here. And then you just push this out of the way, which reveals Bulldog's face with his mustache. Nice. So uh, what we're going to do is just push this down. Ta-da. Eh. Okay, we push that there, boom. Now it's supposed to look like this. Let me just, yeah, okay. Now it's supposed to look like this. Now what do we do next is you pull this up. Is this piece or? Oh yeah, it is this piece. Just need to put some effort. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to use our prying tool, which is called a screwdriver. Here. Yeah. So this is it. So this is how it's supposed to look like. Now, there is the same thing on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. So, here we have Bulldog's face that is being revealed. Now, next thing, what we do is just push this forward. You know, these gun pieces. Which act as so... Ah! Oh no, Bulldog's head. Okay, uh, it's on a ball joint. Don't worry, boys. Okay, don't worry. 
No. You're supposed to pull the back. Well, that's what I'm. Well, that's what I'm saying. But hmm, why isn't it working? This would reveal the hands, but why isn't it being pulled apart now? Okay, build it apart. I guess it's a bit of a brute force. That's what you need. So it just be yeah. So this reveals the hands. What you do is just pull them out. And oh god, I disconnected the, the hand again. Oh. No, bulldog's head. <laughs> eh. We connect the head. We connect the hand later. What you do is just disconnect these two. Yay! And just put back the ball joint. Yeah. Get in there, boy. Okay, so you got the hand right there. Uh, with a bulldog's head. Um, yeah, and then we have the other hand out of there. Okay, so then what you do is just put this gun thing there. Turn this around. Okay, right, give me a second. Let me just get close to the camera. Okay, yeah. How was I doing again? Okay, so make sure you push these in, of course, and then you go, wooey. Okay. Turn around, boy. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting something. Okay, turn it around. Mission suc wait, no, not successful. Yes, now mission successful. I get some respect points, let's go. Now what you do is just push it in there. Oh no. Okay, no, what? Oh, yeah, okay, so you see these pieces? You should turn it around so it could connect like here. Funny. Silly me, I'm a silly goose. Okay, that's there. Now let me just put the disconnected part in there, which is the shoulder. And in there, boy. Okay. So yeah, we have his uh, well, his upper body done. Wait, not really. You just need to push this down here. This can't. This was like connected to here, and you just need to push it out. Sick. So now I'm now we're going to do the legs. So. The legs I got confused about, uh, about because the instructions were, of course, don't make sense. Yeah. Why am I? Why should I be complaining about that? Because it all always makes no sense. So just push that there. That I got that. Now, now you see this piece. You just push it out. Ta-da! You got that right there. Boom. So what am I supposed? To I keep on forgetting. <laughs> Get that. Oh yeah, then you just turn this thing around. Yeah. Just spin it right round. Boom, that's there. That's finished. Not really. Wait, no, ah, move your leg. So you see this piece, then you just push it out, up. So it connects, so this piece right here connects there. <laughs> Woo, you've got that right there. You got the first part done of the leg. Well, you got the first leg almost done. Then what you do is just push this in like so. And then what you do is just push this piece in front. So then you could put this tread piece. So it could look much better. Then what you do is just pull there's like this piece that pulls, yeah, this thing, you just pull it apart. Then you just, no, you just pull it, don't pull it apart. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> oh, there goes that. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the body. Turning the body is for later. So, yeah, then what you do is just push this in like so. Ta-da, the first leg is supposed to look like that. And then we're gonna have a second leg done. Okay, here we have, oh god, we have him done, his legs are done. Then what we do is we'll, we spin him right now, 180 degrees. Then we put the heads of choice, which is of course the OEM head. Boop, boop. Okay, now let's check. Hmm. 
very th after a very thorough check we are done yes mission successful Suc successful yay now let's get into his details so here we have a bulldog here looking f as fantastic as a how how old is he uh, i don't know looking as fantastic as how old he is so no gain his head his head so he has a mustache mustache i like it his uh, he has these like glasses things that cover one eye i find it to be nice but it, but otherwise it's that's it looks like he's sad or just remembering one of his fallen comrades that's just sad now let's take a look at his other head sculpt so this is his other head sculpt oh no Please. so put that into focus so here we have his head sculpt right here his second one it looks very nice but this uh, helmet thing or hard hat it, it's, it's only compatible with this head so yeah here's how it's supposed to look like and i just find it to look a bit ugly and bulky and also oh god where's the other accessory also another accessory for his head which only works on this head sculpt is just boop okay but yeah this also can work on the other one but the other one makes it look ugly so yeah nice that's epic epic so let's take a look go down to the chest there's a lot of uh, gr there's a lot of silver springs all that rust also there's this logo thing i don't know what it means so yeah a75 bulldog on, on both shoulder pieces let me just put that up sick there's a lot of rust also the green i find it to fit very well his hands are very kind of thin here but yeah it's very nice so let's take a look at this side yeah the hand here is epic uh, so here we have his back wait is this how it's supposed to look like or should i just go yeah so yeah the back it looks weird but i find it to be nice I hate that there's the screw holes here, screw holes here, but it is what it is. I just, it's nice. He's he's actually a very nice figure. Now we go down. Did I miss something when I'm transforming him? I, I missed this piece, I guess. Oops. Yeah. Reveals more details. Okay, so yeah, after that mistake, I forgot to, you know, why was I wrong? So here we have a, like a lot more details and it's like, you know, you got all these bolts that are rusted, stuff like that. Also, this piece is like very nicely detailed, but I prefer just to keep this flap thing over it. Yeah, we come down. Now, you the treads, the treads, they are nice. They actually look very nice. Let me just move the hand. The green, I just, I, the painting is also amazing. But just like how the legs are designed, you know, like they're some sort of chicken legs. I just like, also the back of the feet is nice. You know, overall, this figure is a must buy 10 out of 10. Must buy. I, he's like, he's very sturdy, unlike the bumblebee I just got. Very disappointing, but yeah, this guy is very sturdy, very nicely detailed. Like, yeah. Just buy this guy if you're getting like a World War II style Transformers from Toy World. This guy is must buy. He's, he's very nice. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos or Transformers reviews. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to have a good day and bye.